As a continent, we are unique. We are three large democracies committed to freedom, human rights, equality, and creating real opportunity for everyone. We share deep ties as friends and trading partners. Au cours des 30 dernières années, les économies du Mexique, des États-Unis et du Canada sont devenues intimement liées grâce à l'ALENA. Cet accord a fait croître nos économies, il a créé des millions de bons emplois et le libre-échange entre nos frontières a attiré sur notre continent des investisseurs de partout dans le monde. Free trade through NAFTA has helped make our economies among the most competitive in the world. It makes sense why. Combined, we are home to half a billion people. We have an extraordinarily strong innovation ecosystem. Our combined GDP is larger than that of the European Union. And as leaders, we are all dedicated to driving economic growth that supports the middle class and those working hard to join it. These are all foundations of a strong and resilient continental economy. People remember what happened just a few years ago when the certainty of this partnership was in question. Investors, businesses, workers and citizens all worried about what would happen. When free trade is at risk, that isn't good for competition in the global market. Thankfully, the belief in free and fair trade won the day. We renegotiated and we got an even better deal. To put it simply, we are and always will be stronger together. The world today is facing a lot of uncertainty with the rise in authoritarian leaders causing global instability and the high cost of living putting stress on families at home. It's important that we come together as leaders and as friends to look at ways to make our economies more resilient. Today we discussed how we can build reliable value chains on this continent for everything from critical minerals to electric vehicles to semiconductors. This is good for workers, good for consumers, and good for communities across our countries. La COVID-19 nous a montré toute l'importance des chaînes d'approvisionnement et de la résilience économique, et toute l'importance de se préparer aux futures pandémies et d'essayer de les prévenir. Aujourd'hui, on a parlé des façons d'améliorer notre coopération dans le domaine de la santé pour être prêt à intervenir. We can boost our economic resilience even further through our work to build a clean economy. Things like clean energy, including hydrogen, manufacturing zero emission vehicles, and encouraging more people to adopt them. This is an enormous opportunity for workers and for business. On doit tous prendre part à l'action climatique. Les gouvernements et le secteur privé doivent travailler ensemble vers l'atteinte des objectifs de 2030. Ces objectifs ne consistent pas seulement à réduire la pollution pour atteindre les cibles de Paris, ils se rapportent aussi à notre engagement à conserver 30 de nos terres et de nos océans d'ici 2030. Le mois dernier, à COP15 à Montréal, le Canada a réuni les pays du monde entier et on a pu conclure un accord historique pour protéger la nature, la santé de l'environnement est indispensable à la santé de l'économie. Canada is pleased to have our Mexican and American friends committed so strongly to protecting clean air, clean water, and a brighter future. Canada is also pleased to see all three countries take steps to more to build towards building a more diverse, equal, and inclusive society, a society where there is opportunity for everyone where women and girls are politically and economically empowered, including indigenous women and girls, where the benefits of growth are felt by workers and families across the economy. By doing this, we create a more stable, prosperous, and equal future. And we build economies that work for all North Americans. 
we made progress on a lot of different things today. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and as North American leaders, we recognize the roles our countries play in being a source of stability and security, not just in the region, but around the world. Ce sommet a été productif et nous a permis de réitérer notre vision commune et la vigueur de notre partenariat. I know we'll make much progress in the coming year, and I look forward to hosting you both in Canada for the next North American Leaders Summit. Thank you. Merci. Gracias.